Welcome to Designer Digital's Bi-Weekly Tip, May 10th, 2013. This week, how to load cutting files into the Silhouette Studio software. Cutting files for use in a die cutter are a recent addition to our store. For the next few weeks, we'll help you get the most from these files by showing you how to load and use cutting files in the Silhouette Studio software. To begin, let's go over how to load image files into your software. First, download and unzip your purchases. You'll get an error message if you accidentally forget to unzip them before trying to open them in the software. Open up your Silhouette software and click the Show Drawing Area button here from the menu on the left side. Next, choose File Open or you can click this little open folder here. In the Import dialog box, click the Files of Type drop-down menu and choose SVG or PNG depending on the type of image that you're planning to cut. Since all of our products come with accompanying PNG images, I'll click that. Use this Look In box at the top to browse your computer for the location where you've downloaded and unzipped the products. Next, double click the image that you want to open. It will populate in the drawing area as a black and white image. Now you'll need to create the cutting line so that the machine will know where you want it to cut. To do this, click on the image to make it active. You'll see a bounding box appear right around the image. In the top right corner, choose Open the Trace window. The trace window will appear on the right side of the screen. Click the Select Trace Area button here and then draw a bounding box around your image. The shape will be covered with a big gray box. Next, move the High Pass filter to the right until the entire image that you want to cut is highlighted yellow. You can go all the way to the right if you like. Then click Trace in the box labeled Apply Trace Method. Click the black shape and drag it down and then click it again to select it. Now you can press Delete or Backspace on your keyboard to delete that black shape. You won't need it anymore because now you have the cutting lines. You'll be left with a red outline of the shape and this is what the machine will use to cut out your image. Now let's clean up the red cutting lines by clicking on the cutting line shape and choosing Object, Release Compound Path. Doing this makes each of the red lines a separate entity. So now we can come over and drag out this portion that we don't want cut, click on it, and press Delete or Backspace on the keyboard. You'll want to do this anytime the trace has made a hollow spot that you'd like filled with paper. The final step is to send the file to the silhouette for cutting by selecting File, Send to Silhouette. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next cutting file tip.